I'm making a video about my antique brassware and metalware collection which you see before you. Some of the pieces here you will have seen in other videos. This is where everything lives uh, when I'm not using it or photographing it or making a video about it. Uh, so I'll give you a quick tour. Up the top we have my very large and beautifully decorated spice mill, coffee mill, pepper mill, whatever you want to call it. Uh, solid brass made in Italy. It is currently filled with black pepper. Uh, very nice aroma when it's ground. Behind that we have my four tier brass tiffin carrier made in India roughly a hundred years ago, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty years ago. Over here we have my brass field glasses made in France about 1880, 1900 around there. Over here we have a much smaller spice mill or coffee mill. Up the back here is an old family photograph. Uh, front and center is my great grandmother and my grandmother is second on the right. Then down here is the main shelf. Over here on the left we have my antique streetcar bell. Then down the front we have four desktop bells or shop counter bells. Uh, these are all Victorian, these four. You can tell that they're Victorian because they are raised on pillars and on bases. Uh, modern bells don't have this. Um, by the early 20th century this style uh, was getting rather outdated. Then over here we have <clears throat> my four mortar and pestles. Uh, if you've seen my other video that has three mortar and pestles in it. Since then I did buy another one which is this one here at the back. Now the two on the left are apothecary mortar and pestles. You can generally tell an apothecary mortar and pestle because it's short, round, quite small, uh, with knob handles, one here, one here, uh, same with the one at the back. And the, uh, the pestles are double-ended. So you can use one side or the other side. Uh, the big one here at the back is Mediterranean. Uh, that's Greek or Turkish in origin. Uh, very highly decorated, as you can probably see. Lots of rings carved into it, inside and out, and all over the pestle. Then at the front, we've got this big beast here. At the back we have my four telescopes. This one is the oldest, uh, also the largest as you can see. This is over three feet when it's fully opened, uh, 39 inches. This is from about 1850, 1860. This one is, I think, slightly earlier, I'm not sure, probably 1870. These two here at the extreme right are from about 1890 to about 1910, 1915. This one is the only one which still has its original brass lens cap. Looking very nice. Pop that back. Then here I've got a little brass Zippo lighter. This is a reproduction made by Zippo, which copies the same lighter which they introduced in 1937 with the 
Uh, diagonal slashes on the edge of the case for decoration. Looks very Art Deco, I like it very much. Then over here, we have my carriage clock. Carriage clock was invented in the 1790s by uh, Abraham Louis Breguet and it has remained popular ever since. This particular carriage clock was made by Coulet Frères, uh, Coulet brothers, who operated out of Normandy in France. This particular clock is about 1905, 1910, thereabouts. Uh, yes, it is keeping the correct time. I wind it up once a week. a shot of it from the side so that you can see all the uh, mechanisms ticking away inside then down the bottom here uh, I've got my collection of bits and pieces uh, opera glasses as you can see the blue ones on the very end are from about 1880, 1890 the next ones along are from 1885 uh, those are French, as are the two tiny pairs, and this one here. This one is also French. At the back, we have my grandmother and great-grandmother's uh, silver straight Chinese belts, and two uh, straight Chinese key holders, which are very, very rare. Um, you don't find those outside of the old Straits settlements, which are today Singapore and Malaysia. And there we have it. A very quick overview of my antique brassware collection. If you want to know more about what I collect and what I like to write about, then feel free to visit my blog. There is a link to that in the description section below this video. Thank you very much for watching.